we come to the Lord today to thank Him for all the wonderful things that He has done in our life. With humble hearts, let us offer to Him all our personal and communal intentions and the intentions of our Holy Father, especially for peace in the whole world. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, we ask God to continually guide us in our day-to-day -day living, in our studies, and in our different journeys in life together with our families. Let us pray for all our government and church leaders. May their leadership be caused by true love and concern for the people at all times. For the sick and those suffering in life, and for the poor and the marginalized, may they experience the divine healing of God and be lifted up in life. And may the souls of the just rest in God's eternal love and peace. May the Sacred Heart of Jesus be ever loved, forever. Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, pray for us. Saint Joseph, model and patron of those who love the Sacred Heart of Jesus, pray for us. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. Let us all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected. Why do the disciples of John and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth on an old cloak. If he does, its fullness pulls away. The new from the old and the tear gets worse. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the skins are ruined. Rather, wine is poured into fresh wineskins. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pause for a moment as we reflect on the message of the Holy Gospel. Do I focus more on my religious observances rather than on the Lord? Angelic songs resounding through the happy courts of heaven for the triumph of all forces and this praise to God be given. Saints of forces, dearest Father, here is why we pray to you. Let your children sing your praise. Was a silent healing wrapped in loving ecstasy at the altar where his Jesus I 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. Mary with her loving Son, bless us each and every one. Amen. That in all things, God may be glorified.